everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another First Soup Friday video. So recently, I got a suggestion on a YouTube community post about finding your character's voice, and I loved it. Because when you really think about it, there are so many aspects of a character's design. But when you're bringing that character to life, the way they communicate can be almost, if not just as important as the way that they look. That's why today I'm going to walk you through some of my personal experience with developing my persona's voice. And then we're gonna go step by step and find a voice for your character. And don't worry, silent characters, I did not forget about you. So let's get started! So in the first version of my suit, I kind of went with the approach of turn up the pitch on your voice and use all of your energy. Now there's nothing wrong with being a huge burst of energy, especially if that's a central part of your character. In fact, some of my favorite fursuiters are just little fuzzy nuclear reactors. But over time, I kind of wanted something different that I could connect with on a personal level. I still wanted the character to be upbeat and happy, but I didn't want to get exhausted while first eating. Because goodness, was it exhausting. Plus, if my only emotion was high energy and crazy, it would really limit my ability to express my character in a wider range of emotions. Which brings me to our first step in finding your character's voice. Experiment! Play with all kinds of concepts and ideas. I mean, my persona basically went from super serious guy in a very specific time period to this goofball. The point is, don't feel like your first decision needs to be your final one. Kind of like how you can edit the physical features of your character design, you can pretty much edit all the aspects of their personality and how they communicate. So write down any and all of your ideas, even if you don't think you're going to use them. And when you find something that you think you might like, go ahead and rehearse different voices and practice things or phrases they might say. The more different things you try, the more likely you're going to find something that just feels natural. It's kind of like writing a story. Just throw together a first draft to get all of your ideas in front of you, and then edit and revise it until it's something you really like. After you have an initial idea of what direction you want to go in, you're going to want to think about body language. Even if you're not going to be using this character in a costume like a fursuit, body language is still a critical component of how your character communicates. Like, think about how you want to express yourself through this character. For instance, my persona is just an outlet for me to share the things that I'm passionate about. So I'll keep that in mind with how my character talks or how he moves. Basically, with Ace, I just channel whatever energy I have out of suit when I'm just really stoked about something. And if you're trying to portray an emotion that you're not actually feeling in that moment, then body language becomes all that more important. I mean, a person in an angry fursuit is probably not an angry person. So they're gonna have to find a way to act it out. And on that note, have you ever seen a voice actor in a voiceover booth? They are almost never standing still. It just makes it that much easier to move your voice around when your body's doing the same thing. The rest just kind of depends on how you're going to use all this information. Is this a character that you're going to write into stories or comics? Then think about all the words you would use to describe their movements in speech. Are you going to act this character out in a costume? Practice in front of a mirror, or better yet, record yourself and play back the video to see what you can improve on or fix. Believe me, I watch a lot of this playback and I think of a lot of stuff I can improve on. Just remember that whatever your character is, that you're making it for you. It should be something that not only you enjoy sharing with others, but you also have fun portraying. For example, my LARP character that I roleplay as for a fantasy game is totally different from my persona. But I enjoy immersing myself into that character because over time the personality developed and became more three-dimensional. And this stuff all comes with practice. I am much more comfortable getting into character now than I was four years ago when I first tried on a fursuit. So remember that this stuff always takes practice. The big thing to remember is that as long as you and the people you're interacting with are having a good time, then you're doing it right. So thanks a bunch for watching this week's Fursuit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have any tips for helping people find their character's voice? I would love to hear about it in the comments down below. And if you really like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below for new videos every week. And if you'd like to support the content that I make on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box down below. And speaking of patrons, I'd like to thank these amazing Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I'd like to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. So thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.